International Monetary Fund IMF has early today inaugurated its new office complex. Situated in Kololi, the IMF country representative describes the opening of the new office complex as a testimony to the IMF's commitment to creating the enabling environment to serve the Gambian people. Details in this report. The new IMF office complex comprises three offices, a reception area, a training room, a library and a conference room. Experts say the new office will create a functional working environment for the growing number of IMF mission teams working on the surveillance and capacity development in the small West African country. Mamadou Barry is the IMF resident representative to the Gambia. Mr. Barry renews IMF's commitment to supporting the Gambia government. The IMF remain committed to support in Gambia overcome its macroeconomic and development challenges during these trying moments caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, which is further exacerbated by the Russia-Ukraine war. In the same vein, the opening of this befitting and modern office in the middle of the pandemic is, among other things, a testimony of IMF's strong commitment to create the enabling conditions to better serve the Gambian people. In this, in serving Gambian people in providing policy advice and the needed financial support to address the country balance of payment need, as well as build the capacity for a growing sustainable recovery and a long-term development for the Gambia. Ivor Hasina F. Razafil Hamifa is the IMF mission chief in the Gambia. Razafil Hamifa disclosed that the Gambia's economy could register a growth of 5.6% in the coming years, despite the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, the economic growth of the Gambia has been very strong uh, for the last year, despite the pandemic. Uh, the Gambia could register economic growth of 5.6%, despite the many waves of uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. And this 5.6% is much higher than the average of Sub-Saharan Africa during the pandemic period which shows the resilience of, uh, of the economy of this country. And uh, we also saw the large and doubling, even more than doubling, of the remittances from uh, Gambian, uh, from overseas, flowing into the country. And that shows the confidence that the Gambians overseas and that people overseas have uh, into uh, the Gambian economy. The COVID-19 pandemic lowered the growth of several African economies and the Gambia is not an exception. To contain the spread and mitigate the economic impact of the pandemic, especially on the most vulnerable, the IMF Executive Board approved financial assistance for the Gambia in the amount of 21.3 million US dollars. Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs Mam Burenjai underscored the relationship between the IMF and the government of the Gambia. The Gambia and the IMF have long since had a successful relationship which continues to grow, strength to strength. After a number of ECF and RCF programs, we are on the fourth review of the current ECF. The ECF arrangement has greatly helped us address the challenges from COVID-19 pandemic, supported inclusive growth, helped reduce our debt vulnerabilities, and continue with the implementation of the much needed structural reforms. This time the support went a long way in enabling us to navigate through the shocks and curb an impending crisis, especially in the health sector. We remain committed and utterly grateful for the support the fund has given to the Gambia and we hope this support will continue in the future. Boa Saidi, governor of the Central Bank of the Gambia, outlining the Gambia's long-standing relationship with the global monetary fund, Governor Saidi called on the need for a more strengthened collaboration. Today, more than ever before, there is need to strengthen this collaboration as economies all over the world are ad adopting to new ways of doing business, partly due to the ongoing pandemic and rising uncertainty in the global economic and geopolitical landscape. Since 2020, the Gambia has benefited substantially from IMF financial support to fight the pandemic and mitigate its impact on lives and livelihoods. 
This range from grant assistance through the Catastrophic Containment and Relief Trust to augmented SDR allocation. The event saw the presence of senior government officials, diplomatic and councillor corps, representatives of various international organizations, the private sector and civil society. The Gambia joined the International Monetary Fund shortly after attaining independence in 1965. Since then, the IMF has been an important development partner in the economic management of the smallest African nation by providing critical financial and technical support, including policy advice and capacity development. Osman Chata, iAfrica News.